Hi, I'm Lori, and I'm an independent consultant with Jamberry, and today I'm going to show you how I like to apply my nail wraps. So I'm going to point the camera down so you can see all of the tools that I have to start with. Um, some of these you may want to use or you may find that you want to use different ones, so I have pretty much a little bit of everything. I have nail clippers, um, some scissors, an orange stick, uh, tweezers. This is a glass nail file or you can just um, use a regular nail file. And this is the um, Jamberry Nail Prep Wipe. Oops, right there. And I have my heater. Um, now you don't absolutely need to have a heater. Um, so I've been actually using my blow dryer up until this point. So um, you can definitely get away with using a blow dryer, but this is actually pretty convenient, and I'll turn it on, and you really can't hear that much. It's a lot quieter than a blow dryer, so if someone's trying to take a nap and you want to do your nails, um, you can definitely use this, or you can use it while watching TV, whatever you'd like. So here I have my sheet of wraps. And this was actually a Black Friday special, so if you like it and you wanted it, um, sorry. <laughs> but um, So I wanted to start out with showing you the full sheet so that you can kind of try and determine um, what size wrap you want to use. Uh, so usually I use the smallest one on my pinky. Um, the next size one I actually use on my index finger because it turns out my index finger is actually smaller than my ring finger. So this one is for my index finger, this one is for my ring finger, and then this one is for my middle finger, and this one is for my thumb. Um, so the best way to really tell is you just kind of hold it up and you go, okay, well, does that one fit? No, okay. So you can just kind of, because it's clear, you can actually determine um, what size fits you best. Now, you don't want it to be too big. You want it to err on the side of it being a little too small. Um, if you show a little bit of your nail, that's fine. But if you start to touch some of the skin on the outer part of your nail, then that's when you'll get it to start peeling up and it won't adhere very well. So the best is to go on the smaller side. Um, now what some people like to do is they peel off part of it, cut it in half, and then um, they can put the wrap on. Um, but I actually like to cut it all out first, um, just so that I have it kind of ready to go. Okay, so I'm just Cutting out the smallest one here, I'm just going to show you my pinky finger. All right. Okay, so here's my wrap, and I'll just be cutting it right down the middle. Okay, and I'll save that piece for later. And I like to do the I guess it's the applying cold method um, where I actually put it on the nail before heating it up. So if you've seen the Jamberry application uh, video, then they usually tell you to heat up the wrap first and then put it on your nail. But if you don't put it on straight, then you're kind of just stuck with it. So I like to put it on cold because if I have to adjust it, um, I can. So I take my tweezers and I pull from the side that I just cut. So I want to pull from this side because the rounded side is actually going to go on my nail. Um, the top part is not. So if I accidentally touch it with my finger or if uh, with you know oils on my finger or if the tweezers have some oils on it, it's okay to you know get this part because I'm just going to be cutting it off later unless my nails were super long. but. Um, so I start from that edge and I just use the tweezers and I peel it up. Okay, so here's my wrap. And I just take it and I hold it up to my pinky and I just kind of align it as best as I can and just place it on. 
okay? And then I kind of just gently kind of go from middle to sides with it. And it looks fairly straight. If it wasn't, then I could always um, readjust that. So then I turn on my heater. I can actually leave the heater on the whole time. And I just hold it up. And once my finger starts to kind of feel a little hot, then I take it away. And I just take my finger and I just press down as hard as I can, pressing from side to side. Okay, and then I like to kind of fold it over the edge a little bit. And I press and I hold. And then I turn the heater on again. And I kind of hold it up a little bit longer. And I'll press and hold again. Kind of fold it over the edge. Make it so that there's like a nice seal at the tip. You can even tug on it a little bit. Okay, and then I just kind of let it sit there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do another nail. And then after I've done the other nail, this one will have cooled off enough um, for me to be able to trim the excess off and then file it away. So I'm going to go do the other nail, and then when I come back, I'll show you how I trim this off. Hi, I'm back, and I am going to show you, now that I have two nails on, I'm going to show you how I am able to trim from going from this down to a nice pretty nail. Okay, so um, this wrap has cooled enough now, and I have just all of this excess right here. So first what I do is I take my scissors or you could take your nail clippers and I just kind of trim um, close to the nail. It doesn't really matter how perfect it is. Okay and then that part of the wrap is gone. Um, if you want you could always uh, try and save some of those extra pieces as long as you don't touch it to use your for your baby toenails. Okay, so then what I do is I still have a little bit kind of hanging off the edge and so I take my glass nail file or just any regular nail file and I take um, my nail at a 90 degree angle to the nail file and I just file straight down. Let me move it forward for you. Okay, I just go straight down, straight down. And after a little while, some of it just starts to kind of come right off. Okay, so you just want to do that until all of that excess just comes clean right off the tip of your nail. Okay, so sometimes you kind of have to peel it and just get all of it off. Uh, you don't want to file at an angle because then you will take off some of the wrap. Um, and it's actually a little easier if your nails are a bit longer so that you can um, just file it off. If you have long nails and you don't want to have long nails, you can just, um, instead of using the nail file at all, you just take your nail clippers and just clip your nails like you normally would. Um, so then you can get rid of the excess that way. You don't even have to bother with filing it. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier was before I put the uh, wraps on, I like to just rub with my nail prep wipe. Um, just kind of rub the nail, just get it nice and clean, um, and let it dry for a few seconds before I apply the, the wrap. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, I hope this helped. Um, you can also follow uh, the application video from Jamberry. Um, what they tell you to do is to put the wrap up to the heater first, and then you put it on your nail and you smooth it out, and then you will put it back up to the heater again. Um, I don't like to do that just in case I have to uh, straighten the wrap out. Um, it's a little bit easier if it's not straight. You can actually pick it back up again and reposition it. 
um, without anything happening. Also, if you have any sort of wrinkles or bubbles um, that kind of occur when you first put it on before you put it up to the heater, um, don't worry about it. Usually once you hold it up to the heater, uh, you can smooth those out. Um, if I like personally to use my finger to really apply pressure, I feel like I can use a lot more pressure. Uh, some people like to use the cuticle pusher, the rubber cuticle pusher. Um, that can also be really useful. Um, also, if you don't have tweezers, some people like to use the orange stick to peel up the wrap. Um, so that's just another possibility, but I find the tweezers are actually quite easy to use. Um, so if you have any questions about your wraps, please contact me. I'd love to help you out. Um, thank you very much, and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.